Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I wanted to show you a basic rotor structured turret design. Uh, this is very common for player design turrets that use missile launchers or gatling guns. You can really do it on any size ship. Uh, of course this is on a uh, station block here. Using the standard rotor you could though and probably would preferably want to do it with an advanced rotor which takes up the same size on large and station ships. But it's quite larger on the smaller frame rather than the original rotor. Alright, so what we have here is basically just the base, the power to it that you'll have throughout the ship or station. Your first rotor that connects to the single block, and that connects onto your second rotor. That of course connects to your weapon system, which has a gyroscope on it, and a cockpit. Now, you don't need to worry too much about the ownership, that's not really relevant to what we're doing here. But what you'll see here is all these rotors are turned off. That is definitely necessary there. And then the braking force, you either want to turn all the way off, or once you get used to it, you'll want to start increasing incrementally, which I don't have it completely fine-tuned here. But your braking force is still going to apply. So if we turn it all the way up, you'll see we bounce around, but we cannot actually move. There we go, and we turn it all the way back down and we have a free range of movement, quite fast, really. Of course, the more weight you add on, the slower it's going to be, and the more gyros you'll require to maneuver. Of course, I'm going to increase the torque here to make it easier to control. Now, as you can see, we can move both up and down, and left and right. You can still set the limits as shown on the previous rotor video. That will still take effect regardless of what the, if the block is powered on or not. And it's definitely a good concept to use when you are making defensive or even offensive turrets this way so you don't end up shooting your own station. As you can see here, we just shot our own station. Now, the weight of the overall turret is going to factor in when it comes to the weapons you're using. Recoil is a factor. Of course, with this, there's not too much recoil, so it's not really going to show here. But if you added an exponentially larger amount of rocket launchers here, the recoil would add up, and of course, custom weapons have different recoil effects as well. Now, with the advanced rotor, obviously you'd be able to convey the weapon to keep it fully loaded. Of course, with the standard one, you cannot, so you'd have to build your own ammo store on top of that. And ideally, what you want to use is with the conveyed system is to have your ammo store safely and securely placed somewhere below it, particularly below at least a layer or two of armor. Since then you're building turrets, you're obviously expecting to encounter hostility, and you definitely don't want to lose that ammo store. Alright, that covers the basics here. A um, few other points to mention is on a lot of turrets, if you're looking for uh, just a simple multi-point turret design like this, multi-rotor turret design rather, uh, you'll want to go with the uh, L-shaped connection off to the side, but if you're looking for something that's going to see a lot of return fire, you're probably going to want to keep this L-shape in the center, build over to the side, and then end up building around and over and making a armored canopy around it. Of course you won't be able to connect it to the blocks below, but if you make it right, you could actually set it up so there is almost no gap, or at least no targetable gap. Uh, usually what you do with that is you end up building a trench on the main structure, which is where you come down, you go over, and then you come back up with enough block room clearance there to uh, allow the armored skirt to come in and rotate around freely. Alright, I hope that was informative, and as always, have a good day.